Hello my friends, welcome back to Anna's Mobile Home Life, and if you're new, welcome. I am uploading this video to let you know that I am in the rehab now since the 20th. I wanted to show you what I've been complaining about here. This is my breakfast this morning. Today is Saturday. Two hard boiled eggs and a corn muffin that I just broke apart. Horrible. They didn't give me any condiments or salt, pepper, anything with it. My coffee, if I can show you, barely full. I put a splash of milk in there. It's not even a half a cup of coffee. So since I've been complaining, they brought me a bowl of oatmeal, and this is how they serve it. Dried up oatmeal outside of it. It is disgusting. This is what they've been feeding. They feed their people here. Then they brought some pancakes which I think they're the frozen kind that you just microwave. And I still got them very, very cold. The sausage is hard as a rock. I haven't eaten since I've been here. Every meal I've had served oatmeal, not oatmeal, uh, meatloaf for one dinner. And there was <clears throat> meatloaf with spinach. And the spinach, when you pick it up with the fork, it was like I pulled hair out of my hairbrush. This is what they serve people here. I've been so upset, guys. The first I've eaten was a little bit of pancake. The coffee, I mean, even though it's quarter fill, filled, the coffee is disgusting. They don't give you cream. They give you this little carton of milk here to put in your coffee. And that is what my breakfast was today because I've been complaining for days. Don't you serve anything else but hard-boiled eggs with no condiments, no nothing. My first day here, I got here late after their, they served dinner. They brought me over a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, which was hard as a rock and was bad. So this is what I'm dealing with. My caseworker. <clears throat> or social worker stopped by yesterday to talk to me and supposedly I've mentioned to you guys at the hospital that I will need IV antibiotic through the PICC line until for at least four to six weeks so at least until April 17th the hospital told me that I can go home with the PICC line and, uh, you know, be able to do that. They'll give me the, hopefully if my medical coverage will give me the scripts for the antibiotic and they show you how to do it and you do it home. <clears throat> what I was told yesterday was that I can't leave here until the antibiotics are done. Guys, I don't know what to do. I cannot stay here till the 17th. I haven't been home since February 26th. I need to take care of my home and I need to be there. <clears throat> I don't know what to do. The food is horrible. I could barely eat. 
they barely pay attention to you. I'm allowed, I have a walker here. I'm allowed to, you know, go to the bathroom and get up and sit in the chair if I want, but that's it. You barely ever see anybody. This is the room. That's the other bed. Um, it's my own room right now. But if I knew this place was this bad, I would have never came here. And I don't know if I could sign myself out. I don't know what I can, my, what the rules are or anything. But the, the therapist, physical therapist, the gentleman came yesterday, walked me through this room a little bit, and said I was doing fine. Then I hear that I have to stay till the 17th. Do you know how long that is? Just in the hospital, I was there 23 days. And up until April 17th, I can't, I can't. I'm strong enough. I can do this. I may need a little more walking around or something. But besides that, I'm very independent. And <clears throat> I know I could get through this. But I'm not going to be treated like this. With this food that I think is like leftovers. Um, last night's dinner was a burger. And the actual burger was as if they cooked them, put them in the refrigerator... And just opened a burger bun and threw it on top of the burger bun. They didn't heat it, nothing. It was cold, hard. There was no cheese on it. There was no ketchup. Nothing to put on the, the burger. And like a tablespoon of this really spicy, like a coleslaw or something. I just closed the lid and, and I didn't even eat it. It was horrible. With almost every meal, they serve coffee, which they barely fill up. So I don't know what to do. I mean, in the hospital, they were giving me my drain for the liver drain that I still have. The hospital was draining it at least once every other day. They have not drained it at all. Not drained it, um flushed it they have not flushed this drain at all since I've been here and it's what three days I've been here and I asked the nurse this morning and she said I didn't get any uh, directions on our, or no messages about uh, you know flushing the drain I said, well, they've been doing it in the hospital the whole time. It needs to be flushed. It's going to clog and I'm going to have more problems. <clears throat> I feel I could do better at home than what they're doing here. Anyway, with that said, I just wanted you to know what's going on. I was up earlier, used the bathroom with the walker. Uh, washed up a little bit and then I laid back down was watching some TV and then they brought this to me I've been so hungry I'm going to be weak just because I'm not eating right but I've been complaining the best thing so far was the pancakes which was because they're frozen already made from a store this stuff, come on guys, what is that? And the side of it, that's how they served it to me. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. The coffee, just about empty and always cold. Everything is cold. So I need to figure something out to get out of here 
ASAP. But I just figured I'd let you guys know what's been going on. I hope I, I can get through this and get out of here as soon as possible. Because I, I am not happy at all. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video or you're not, uh, you know, I don't want to upset anyone. But this is where I'm at. I thank you all so much for all your kind words, prayers, positive vibes, and all that, that you do for me. I appreciate you. Have a great day. Love you.